Defensive tackle Trenton Thompson from Georgia was once our number one player in the country. Uh, again, that didn't last, but at one point during, I think, one or two ranking cycles, we had him at number one because he was such an exceptional talent. I remember he had a nationally televised game where it was hot, it was like 90 degrees, and he wore down a little bit, and they double teamed him every play, and people were critical of him, and I couldn't understand it. We had him as the number two defensive tackle, number seven player overall. Every defensive tackle takes plays off. That, that, that's the way it is. But we saw him in camp settings. We saw him, obviously, in game settings. We saw him in, in, at the Army Bowl. This was a kid who was just a special talent because not only could he shoot the gap and split double teams and use that quickness and technique, he had tremendous technique, but he could also be stout against the run and didn't wear down, despite the fact that on the nationally televised game he did wear down a little bit. Overall, every time we saw him, he didn't wear down. And this was a kid who was taking on double and triple teams at certain times, was clearly the best football player on his team, and was the target of the offensive game plan every time he stepped on the field. So the career he had at Georgia was a bit up and down. Not sure where he's going to fall in the NFL draft, but as a prospect out of high school, this is what you wanted from a defensive tackle. You want a guy who can flush the quarterback, who can pressure the quarterback, but it can also hold his ground and, and really stuff the, the, the run game up the middle. And, and Trenton Thompson could do all of that.